By the end of this very short video, you're gonna be able to make professional quality logos at scale, completely free using AI. So you can use these in your own business or you can start a design agency and sell them to clients. Let's jump straight into it. So the first thing we wanna do is come over to ChatGPT and have it write the perfect prompt for us. So to do that, we just need to use the following prompt. Give me the perfect prompt that will help me make a logo that represents your bicycle shop. Replace that with whatever your brand is, obviously. It must be on a plain background and hit enter. So now all we need to do is copy this text and head over to mid journey. And when you're on mid journey, just hit forward slash imagine. Next, we just enter that prompt and hit enter. And it usually takes just about 30 seconds to a minute before it renders some of these images. So let's zoom in here and have a quick look and see which ones I like. So number one, I like, and number four, I like. I wouldn't use number uh, two or number three, just because of where the text is placed, it's gonna be very difficult to remove that, which we're gonna do in the next step. So I'm actually gonna take the fourth one here. I think it's the best. So what we wanna do is click U4, which is to upscale it. So we can see then after a couple of seconds, we have a much higher quality version of that image. So all we need to do is click on it, right click and save image as and we'll just call it bike logo. Now, when you come back here, you also have the option to click on make variations. And if you go back up here and say you liked number one, but it wasn't perfect, instead of hitting U1 to upscale, you can hit V1, which is to create variations of the first result. So let's just have a quick look at that. I'll click V1 here. So we can see then if we zoom in, it's given us some slight variations on those images. See the bicycle is different in this one and this one has clouds instead of the lions. They're not huge differences, but you know, if you keep playing around and get more and more variations, then you're gonna get some, some different options to play with. But for now, we're gonna stick with the one I originally picked and we're gonna move to the next step. So you wanna jump over to Canva. So once we're on Canva, we just need to click create design and we wanna search logo and just open that up. Next, we wanna just drag our logo in. And we wanna just obviously expand it and make it fit the screen. So next we're gonna to wanna to remove this text. Now, if you're on the paid version, it's a lot easier. You can use um, the remove background tool. I don't think that's available on the free one. Either way, I'm gonna just show you a way to do it that you'll definitely be able to do on the free version. So what you wanna do is go over to draw on the left-hand side, click on the color, click the plus, and then you wanna select the color picker. And then we wanna just select the background. Now that we have that color selected, we want to go over and choose any of these pens or pencils here. So we'll choose the highlighter and make it as big as possible. So let's just make it like whatever, 50 is fine, 100% transparency. And now it's going to just paint the color over the text and it's going to just leave us with the logo. So now we just have the logo. The next thing we want to do, we might not even want to do this step, but if you want to add some text to it, obviously you just go over the text here on the left and you can scroll through any of the font combinations. So let's just try to find something suitable. So the image is clearly a flat image. So maybe something like rodeo might be okay. So let's just drag that in and have a quick look. Now the color is obviously clashing with the background. So what you wanna do is just resize it. And then we head up to the color up here and we can play around with some colors. So let's just try black. Okay, so it's looking good. Resize it. And then obviously we just rename it to whatever the bike star would be. So let's just use bikes here, for example. And there we have it, the perfect logo in about five minutes. So obviously if you have the pay it or trial version of Canva, originally what you could have done was just use the background remover tool that they have without doing any of this messing around. And it would have just removed the background and you could have just erased the text using that feature. But if you are not paying for Canva, this is a very useful way of doing it. But you mightn't like the color of the background here. And as I said, you might want to pay to upgrade on Canva. So next, what you want to do is you want to just download your image. So make sure to download it as a PNG just to retain the high quality. And then you want to head over to remove.bg and just drag your image in. And now we can see we have our logo with the background removed. So all we need to do is download that. For more tips on building, growing and scaling an online business, make sure to subscribe and go check out the channel. Thanks for watching.